to be an exhilarating event on the calendar this season, bowling is here. And the Valiant Vanillas and the Greenies rivalry continues to heat up here with two events to go. Bowling is going to be a pretty long event, I'd imagine. It's going to be scored as follows. Uh, any open frame with pins left standing will be scored as is. A spare will be 10 points plus however many was scored on the second bowl. And a strike is going to be worth 20. Each team is going to get two frames. So this is going to be round one now. And the Valley Vanillas will have their first bowl. Here comes their second. And they're going to leave two standing it looks like. So that's, that's one frame. And every two rounds, so this is round one, keep one of 15, every two rounds, the bottom four teams will be eliminated until we get to our final four. So this is going to be a wild and true true boulder strike! True blue on the board with a 20! That is tremendous for them! And their fans gotta be really happy with that. Haven't had much to smile about this season, but haven't had much to be disappointed about either been consistently mid-pack. And our hosts are going to leave two standing, it looks like. So, yeah, they've got that two on the left, it looks like. Yeah, we got another one knocked over on the second bowl. The greenie's up now. That's going to be good. The greenie. Can Greener try and trip that one? No, straight through the middle. Greenies leave one standing, it looks like. Yeah, a 9 bowl by Greenie, that's pretty impressive. But nothing from Greener. The Flamethrower is up now with the dynamic duo of Flame and Fire, who got third and fourth in duo events last season, being Archery and Dodge Marble, respectively. Fire had to manage that split there, got one down, but that's only a 7 for the Flamethrower. There are rivals coming up now. The Aquatics, what can they do? Seafoam and Shelly, alliteration galore here. And here comes Shelly. That's not a terrible bowl. It's an 8 by the looks of it. Yep, 7 and 1. 7 to see from 1 to Shelly. Of course, second marble is basically on cleanup duty. So they're generally going to have a lower bowl. As Cosmo comes down now for Team Galactic. And that's a good hit. That's going to be an 8, it looks like. What can Starry do? That kind of wobbled a bit there, but nothing going for Team Galactic. And that's an 8. Cosmo. Two silvers in duo events so far. One of them was with Starry back in Archery. Chili Cat size up now. Green Eye puts up an 8 it looks like. Can Red Eye get one? Yes they can. Green Eye and Red Eye with a good run. A 9. Now of course, unfortunately on the graphics, the Chili Cat size members were swapped on all the graphics, so and apologies for that. But all the other teams, their graphics have been checked and are good. From the Bronze Tigers, and that's a good bowl by Tigris! Can Tanner chip one over? No. But Tigris puts up a 9 for the Bronze Tigers! And that's a good score. And if I didn't mention the tie-breaking procedures earlier, I don't think I did. The tie-breaking procedure is the lowest frame loses the tie. So if two teams go out on 20, hypothetically, the one, if let's say one team had a 6 and a uh, a 6 and a 14, and the other team had a 10 and a 10. The one with the lower frames, the 6, would lose. The Moonlight Titans put up 9 there, and here come our Season 2 champions, the Blueberry Buttons. And Bomberry knocks a couple over, but they have a lot still standing. Elton John would approve, I think I imagine. <laughs> but only a 6 for the Blueberry Buttons. From our next competitors now, it's the Rainbow's Red Orange puts up a good score. And purple paint get one, and as we've seen, those splits have been really hard to manage. You kind of have to use the other ones to hit into it. But that's a 9 by Red Orange, and that's solid all around. Up next, the Blue Moons. They've had a consistent-ish season. That's consistently poor right there. What can Royal do? Oh, bad ball for the Blue Moons. And that looks like a 5. It is. Azor gets 4, Royal 1. Not good for the Blue Moons. One's kicking away now, it's the Time Warpers, the Captain Black Hole, of course we all know what's happening with the Time Warpers this season. And that might be a six. Not great for either marble there. 
three and three, and it is a six on round one. Heat 14. Two more to go this round, and here we go with the Golden Lynxes. That's Lion. Lion with a good run. That's an eight, but that split's going to be hard to manage, and Cheetah can't get it done. If they had hit that other domino that had been knocked down, I think they might have gotten one more. That's tough for the Golden Lynxes. Our final runner in round one is the Stingers. Sting and Flutter. Here comes Flutter now. And that's a spare! Sting puts up five. Flutter finishes it off. And the Stingers get the first spare. That's a 15. And well done to them. We get back in the gates for round two now. So after this round, the bottom four teams will be eliminated. The Valiant Vanillas will pitch a strike! Vanilla gets it done! And a 28 now for the Valiant Vanillas. Tremendous! They won silver last event. They're looking for more, as they are now just five points behind the Greenies. True Blue up now, and that's going to be an eight, uh, seven or eight. Actually, I think there's one more back there. Seven. The Blue knocks two down, and True Blue will pick up a nine. Are they done yet? Nine. <laughs> Here come our host, Balls of Fire. Firestar with an 8, that's respectable. Can Firestorm do cleanup duty? Just misses! So many just misses here, you gotta think. The accuracy. This is a new event, so I wouldn't say they're totally prepared, but you gotta have some preparation for everything here in the Marvel Sports games. And Greeny puts up another 9! That's gonna be a- Oh, Greener almost got it done! Again, so close! Oh, this one, the execution was perfect. The block was just so, so close. But just a bit too far. Flame puts up a good bowl there. Can fire get anything? Nope, just one that was already down. going to be an 8 for the flamethrowers, and they slide in with 15. Which is the lowest I think we've seen so far. Of course, all the scores cumulative. The aquatic's up now. Sea foam, that's a good bowl. Maybe, eh. Maybe not. Might be a six, and Shelly only gets one. And the Aquatic also on 15. Remember, the bottom four total scores are eliminated. I want to stay out of there. Team Galactic up now. Team Galactic throws a strike. Cosmo with a 20. And they're tied with the Valley Vanillas with another 28. The three strikes so far, I believe. There's the Chili Cat's Eyes Green Eye. A little bit off center there. And Red Eye, oh look at the track, did start shifting! And we're receiving word that this was a, a mistake. The flesh being accidentally went into the referee there, got a bit jarred. The referee, thankfully, okay. And that'll be a 9 for the Julie Cat's eyes. No penalty to says, so it was a minor accident. The Bronze Tigers take the field now. Ooh, almost a beautiful fare from Tanner! But can only get one done. But still, 18. Not a terrible look for the Bronze Tigers. Here's um, the Moonlight Titans, and that's not amazing. What can Rhea do? Rhea throws a spell! That was a great run! The Captain Artemis comes in, only gets six, but a 14 on the spare from the Moonlight Titans' Rhea, who is replacing Kronos for this season due to the injury. But that's stupendous for the Moonlight Titans. Another minor track shift there, but nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Must have just been bending from the way to Bombay, who, as we've seen, kinda has had a bit of struggles on Porchetti. We saw him get stuck in the long jump, so probably just an incident as such. Purple Pink's able to mow one more down to add to the Rainbow 7, putting them at 16. They, too, have had a bit of a struggle this season. I think they're in 15, so not great. Blue Moon's up now, Azur gets 3, and Royal... On their way... Completely misses! That's a three! Oh, disaster for the Blue Moons! That's a total of eight! Oh, goodness! Alright, well, they're definitely out. They're gonna get last this event, I think. Unless any of these teams put up a zero, and <laughs> no, they don't. Black Hole up now. What can Asteroid do? That's a couple over, but the Time Warp is nothing stupendous yet again. I'm looking at 14. Word on the street, according to, uh... Renowned Marvel Sports reporter Lauren Rollon, the uh, Time Warpers have been considering giving Asteroid the boot for uh, some time now, and we'll have to see if they stick around with them at the end of this closing ceremony. If this performance is anything to go by, I'd say no. Golden Lynxes are going to sit on 17 now, so that's respectable. That leaves our final runner before the eliminations. It's the Stingers, who have a spare already and are safe. 
that's going to be a decent result. It'll put him at a total of 23. So a 5-5 five, five, and then a 4-4 four, four for the Stingers. They've been pretty consistent. Now our four teams that will not be joining us in the next two rounds are the Aquatics, the Blueberry Buttons, the Time Workers, surprise, surprise, and the Blue Moon. So we've got 12 runs to go. Well, 12 teams to go. We've got a lot more runs to go. And the Valiant Vanillas, Ice not able to get anything going there. Vanilla puts up an 8 to boost them to 36 total after three rounds. True Blue up now. And that's a mediocre result from True True. Can Blue get anything? That's a... Mmm, not terrible. I want to say maybe 8? 7. But still, 36. Not bad for True Blue. Here come Balls of Fire now, our hosts. And that's a 5... Six for Firestar. Firestorm able to chip off one more. And they'll take down six for a total of 22, but well behind the Valley Vanellas and True Blue. Got another round to make up for that. As the Greenies take the stage, that's going to be a good run from Greenie again. Can Greener get anything this time? Yes, two! Greener scores their first points of the event with two. That'll put the Greenies at 27, directly in the middle of Balls of Fire and the other two. Flame and Fire now. Flame splits the gap, and that's going to be a hard frame for Fire, and they can only take down one. Not great, as they sit at 22 with Balls of Fire now. Fiery Rivals tied. How fitting. Team Galactic up now, fresh off their strike, and Cosmo puts up a decent result, but there's still at least three standing for Starry. And that'll be two more down, leaving Galactic with one up. That's a nine, which should take them into the lead with 37. Season 1 champion, still alive, trying to catch the Greenies and Valiant Vanillas, but they're going to need some magic pretty soon. With the Valiant Vanillas and Greenies still going strong. And the Chili Cat's Eyes pitch in a spare. Green Eye with the 7. Red Eye puts up a nice spare. And they continue on their fine form this season. As the Bronze Tigers, their rivals, look to better that. Tigris puts up an 8. Can Tana chip any? No, straight through the middle for the Bronze Tigers reserve. That was a hard split, though, so I can't really blame them. We got the Moonlight Titans up now. Artemis and Rhea. Artemis leaves three standing. Can Rhea chip any off? That's two. That's a nine. Not bad. Moonlight Titans with 32 now. No teamwork continues to shine. Rainbow's up now. Red Orange taking the arena. And, ooh, that's a slow ball. Red Orange is still on there. Kind of reminiscent of Vanilla's move in archery last season. And Purple Pink will dislodge the comrade. But, one... Domino left, 25 for the Rainbows. Not last, but pretty far down there. I believe two runs to go this round, and the Golden Lynx is, that's a bad split. That's at least, that's a few pins down, but Cheetah can't get anything. And that leaves three up for a 24 after three rounds for the Golden Lynxes. Stinger's up now, they've been perfectly balanced as all things should be so far. Not gonna be this time, as at least six, but Flutter puts in another couple. That'll be 8 for the Stingers. Not too bad. They're at 31. They're looking to keep going. They have to round 4 now. Valley Vanellas with another nice split. Can Ice get it done? Yes! Valley Vanellas with a spare. 48. And they are making it really hard for the Greenies to keep up with them. And they might take the lead here. True Blue with another nice run from True True, and Blue's gonna try and finish it off. Oh, just misses. Again, so close for True Blue. 45, though, they're just a few behind the Valiant Vanillas. Here come Balls of Fire now. Our host, our host get the strike! Firestar shooting on down there for a strike, and that boosts him up to 42. And the home crowd is thrilled with that. Here come the Greenies now, trying to keep up. They desperately need to do so. And they're not going to. The Greenies are in a dire situation right now with just 34. And they might be on that elimination bubble. Four more teams getting the boot after this round. Will the Flamethrowers be one of them? They've been struggling. Nothing outstanding. And... Ooh, yes. That's not good for the Flamethrowers. I think that's going to put them in the 20s. 29... That should be pretty easy to beat for our remaining seven competitors this round, starting with Team Galactic. Cosmo puts up a nice 
eight maybe. And Starry, ooh, oh, that one just so close to falling over. Not sure if they counted or not, but Galactic will finish with an eight. I guess there was one behind there that got knocked over, but not that one. Chili Cat has another good run for Green Eye. Can Red Eye get this done? No, right through the middle. Nine for Green Eye though, and that's not too bad. Of course, the graphics still are both there. Apologies, but a 40 for the Chili Cat size. That's pretty solid. And the Bronze Tigers, the rivals now. Tigris, not a great bull. Tanner chips a few more though, and that's gonna be an eight. Bronze Tigers, teamwork. Definitely improved this season under new captain Tiggy. In fact, they're guaranteed to get not last, which is a new career best for them. Well done to the Bronze Tigers. Moonlight Titans, that's going to be a disaster split. And Raya can't get anything on. Oh, the, the track came up again. The flesh being ran into it again. Apologies. But, uh, yeah. Rainbow's on the track now. Ooh, I don't know if that one's over or not. Here comes Purple Pink. Ah, uh, see what the count is. Six and one. And we're gonna get a seven for 32. The Greenies struggling to stay alive, but they are barely so far. Golden Lynx is right now. Ooh, that's not great. Let's see what this puts them at. This is gonna put them at 31, so not good. The Greenies are on the bubble right now with the Stingers, our final runner. That's gonna be a not good run. What can Flutter do to salvage it? And we'll get a few down. That'll be six-ish, I want to say. Again, another balance split, three to three, and the Stingers will end on 37. This means the Greenies go out on the tiebreaker to the Bronze Tigers. Oh, this is huge. They're choking it away right now as the Valley Vanillas look to capitalize. Vanilla puts up a great bowl. Here comes Ice. For the spare! And the Valiant Vanillas! Oh, they're still going! 59 after round 5. That was a slow ball from Choo Choo right there. Pretty slow from Blue as well, but they're gonna get some done. 6 for 51. But if the Valiant Vanillas get, um, Green's at 9. If the Valiant Vanillas get a medal, they'll take the lead. If not, they'll either tie with a 4th. Or anything from 5th to 8th will put them slightly behind the Greenies, heading into the triathlon. Balls of Fire put up a 9 here, It'll also end on 51. Not too shabby. Team Galactic up now, Cosmo. Ooh, a bit off to the side there, nothing outstanding. And Starry? Oh, goes right past them, and Starry's gonna put up a zip. Galactic on 50, 5 0, 5 0 right there, interesting. <laughs> Up next, the Chili Cat size. Green Eye, not great on this one. Red Eye, we'll get a few more down there, maybe. Just one for Red Eye, huh. 47. Oh, wait, my bad. <laughs> Got them switched up again, but... Bronze Tigers now, that'll be a solid result. Five and three for 42, and the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Next up, the Moonlight Titans. Artemis is going to take it. That's a good roll, but again, a hard split for Rhea. They'll take one down with them, though. And that will be an 8. 47 for the Moonlight Titans. There's nobody getting eliminated this round, but you got to add to that total if you want to keep up. Ooh, that was a very slow ball. Who was that? Sting? And Flutter will salvage a few more, and that's... Two left, it looks like, for the Stingers. Okay, <laughs> another perfect split. Four and four. And the Stingers are just... Ah, they're so consistent. Valley Vanilla, that's for round six. Now another good ball from Vanilla. Can Ice get it done? Three in a row. So close, but no. The Valley Vanilla's spare streak comes to an end. But they're on 68, entering the next round of eliminations. True Blue up now. True True with a good ball. Blue Blue only needs two. They'll get one for a nine. Sixty for True Blue. They're eight behind the potential championship leaders. Currently still the Greenies, but again, if the Valley Vanilla's medal, it's over entering the final event. Of course, they still have a shot, but 
Balls of fire now. That's going to be an eight. We're 59. So these top three all near 60. Balls of fire the lowest so far. Galactic comes on. Mm, decent result. Still got Starry to run. And they'll get two more down for a nine. So it'll also end on 59. Which is tied for the lowest still. Chili cat size green eye, that's not a great ball. Red eye, can they salvage it? Will they get a few more down? Four and four is only enough for 55 though, so the chili cat size will be going home this round. Three more to go. Here comes Tigris. Ooh! The force from Tigris there was tremendous. And Tanner for the spare! 54 is not gonna be enough, but look at the sheer force Tigris had there, pushing the blocks at their will. Oh, that was a great performance. Fortunately, the Tigers, that's where it will end for them. And the Moonlight Titans, they are going to bow out with a 54 as well. So, we've got one runner to go, and it is the Stingers, and a not good push to start. Can Flutter get anything? They can, but that's not enough. I don't think another perfectly balanced split for the Stingers, and they'll go out with a 51. And for tiebreaker, it looks like the Bronze Tigers will win it over the Moonlight Titans, so they'll take six. Chili Cat Size into fifth. And here are our final four teams. If the Valiant Vanellas get any of the top three spots, they will have them taking the lead. As well as a medal. Oh, what a move by Ice! Look at that! And they've come to play here. Vanilla with the seventh, and Ice with what might be the spare of the game. That was superb! Boing boing on both sides! <laughs> oh, well done to the Valiant Vanillas. And True Blue. Oh, that's a nice spare from Blue as well. That'll put them at 72, so they're trying to keep pace. It's not over yet. But round 7, we've got two runners to go. Balls of Fire, our hosts. What can they get done? And Firestorm! Firestorm! Great spare! 73! And it's not over yet. Still one round to go to chip away at the Vanilla's lead. Galactic is going to try and do that. Cosmo almost gets another strike, but will end with a 9. Starry going to go right down the middle and miss that final block. Galactic in left with 68. We've got one round to go, and the Valiant Vanillas are this close from taking the lead again. They are in provisional first. What can they do? Can any of these teams stop them? Vanilla with another great push. Ice gonna have to try and get that over there. Not gonna happen though. The Valiant Vanilla's gonna end with a total of 89. Here comes the moment of truth. If True Blue does not beat him, we have a new championship leader. True Blue not gonna get the strike, and I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. They will not. And history has repeated itself. The Greenies choke continues. They got last in the last event. And they are just plummeting like a stone. The Valley of Vanilla have taken the lead in the championship once more. Falls of Fire now, also not going to get it done. Well, they will best True Blue, which means the final runner, Team Galactic, will be the only thing in the way from True Blue and their first medal of the season. It's a strike! Team Galactic with the strike. That's going to put them at 88! Oh, they were one point off from dethroning the Valley of Vanillas, but they win gold in the penultimate event. Galactic with their third silver in three duo events. Balls of Fire with the bronze. True Blue so close, but so far from the podium. I am just in disbelief right now. They have done it again. The Valley of Vanillas. They came, they saw, and they conquered, and they've taken the overall lead, 184 to 171. They are now 13 points clear of the Greenies, and only the Greenies and Team Galactic can dethrone them, with the Moonlight Titans and Flamethrowers still alive in the podium hunt. The Valiant Vanillas, tremendous effort, they've come and they've done it again. The Greenies will need a medal, as will Galactic. Galactic will need a gold, the Greenies need at least a bronze. Heading in to the Triathlon, we'll see you there.